everyone, it's Darla from Crafty Yarn Owl. Welcome. This is the lovely Peggy. Now, I showed you this in a recent video. This is the design I've made for Crystal at Bag of Days contest to use one of her stitch patterns to make a wearable. So this is her stitch pattern right here, and it's also on the back. So it's a little capelet. And this one is the exact same design. It's just worn a different way. There's her stitch and that she made a tutorial for. It goes on the arms when you turn the capelet, or it goes on the front and the back. All right, so let's talk about the yarn that I used for this one. This is Yarn Art Flowers Moonlight. Starts off in this beautiful purple in the middle, gradiates down to into this beautiful blue. So I got into the blue just a little bit at the bottom here. And I really love how it turned out. There are 260 grams, 9.15 ounces, 1,000 meters, 1,093.6 yards I used maybe half, maybe a little more than half. I'm just wondering if I use a bigger hook, if I used a 3.5 for this one, if I used a bigger hook, I may be able to get another capelet of the rest of this. Yes. <laughs> okay, so let's see. It's 53% cotton, 43% pack, which is acrylic. 4% metallic polyester, and that would be the sparkle. Of course, you don't have to make one using sparkle. But this colorway is 3254. And you also don't have to use a super fine one, which is what this is. You can make this out of a two weight. This one is actually out of a three weight, and this is um, the one that I make in the tutorial. It's exactly the same as this. So let's talk about the yarn I used for the tutorial. I used Sunflower Delights DK, and this is a yarn from the Knitting Network, which is located in the UK, and they ship everywhere. I'm in Canada. It's 100 grams, approximately 229 meters or 250 yards, 100% microfiber acrylic, made under license in Turkey. They say four millimeter knitting needles. They don't give the crochet hook size but I used a five millimeter. Color is Strawberry 002, and it's got shades of red and pink and white, and I used almost three to make this. Now the length of it here on me is just below the girls, and I just made this, it, you know, Peggy's a little smaller than me, so it hangs longer on her, but I made this just to, to wear over, maybe you have a low cut dress and you just want a little more coverage. You make it in a one weight, two weight, three weight, a four weight if you want a little more warmth. Okay, you're also gonna need scissors and a darning needle and some stitch markers. I blocked this one, but I haven't blocked this one. So let's turn it to the way Peggy's wearing hers. Now let's take a look. Turn a little bit further. And so this is how it looks. All right, let's get started. We're going to make a chain of 96. There are no multiples. It's just straight up 96, and we're going to work it into a circle. Okay, let me show you a little trick that I've shown before. <laughs> okay, chain one, two, three, four, five, six. Pull that loop up. Take your hook out, put your hook into the first chain you made, and then hook it into that loop you pulled up. 
and then continue with your chain. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, all the way up to ninety-six. In this way, your chain never twists. Okay, when you have your 96 chains made, you're going to yarn over and pull your yarn through both ends of that chain. Okay, so now your chain is straight. Okay, we're going to chain one. And that very first spot, which would be right there, we're going to make a single crochet and we're going to make a single crochet in every chain all the way around the length of your chain. And when you've completed your single crochets, count them, make sure you have 96 single crochets. Okay, I've counted and I have 96 single crochets. So what we're going to do now is we are going to slip stitch into the first single crochet that we made. Okay, there we go. And then we'll chain one. And now we're going to make a corner. We're going to have two corners in this uh, design. This is the first one. So in that very first stitch, we're going to make a double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Okay, double crochet, chain two, double crochet. And I'm going to mark that with a stitch marker just to, you know, help me spot it when we come back around. Okay. And now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. We're going to skip three. One, two, three. And the next one, we're going to put a single crochet. Okay, now we're not going to make any chains here. We're just going to skip four. One, two, three, four. In the fifth one, we're going to make nine triple crochets. So wrap your yarn around your hook twice and make nine triple crochets. That's one, two, Three, four, five, and it's all in that one stitch. Six, seven. This row is going to set up your whole design. Okay, now we're going to skip four. One, two, three, four. In the fifth one, we'll put a single crochet. Okay, we're going to skip four. One, two, three, four. In the fifth one, we'll make, again, nine triple crochets. One, two, three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine. 
Okay, we're going to skip four. This is what we're repeating. Okay, so we'll skip four. One, two, three, four. Go in the next one with a single crochet. Skip four. One, two, three, four. Go in the next one with nine triple crochets. That's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, now we have, we have three fans. We're gonna need four all together. All right, so skip four. One, two, three, four. Go in the next with a single crochet. Skip four. One, two, three, four. Go in the next with nine triple crochets. One. Two, three, four, five, Six, one, two, three, yep, six, seven, eight, and nine. <clears throat> okay, now we're going to skip four. One, two, three, four. Go in the next one with a single crochet. Okay. So this is how it's looking. We have four fans there. Now what we're going to do is make our next corner. So we need to chain three. One, two, three. We're going to skip three. One, two, three. In the fourth one, we're going to make a double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Okay, that was a double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Okay, I'm gonna mark mark that one again, the second one. It's all the corners we need, just two. Okay, then we're gonna chain three. We're gonna skip three, one, two, three, put a single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, now when we're on our corners, before our corner, We'll always make a chain three and we'll always skip three um, before the corner and after the corner. Okay, we've done our single crochet after skipping three. Okay, we've done our single crochet. Now we're gonna skip four and we're gonna do what we did on the other side. We're gonna make those fans and the single crochets. Okay, skip four. One, two, three, four. Go in the fifth one with nine triple crochets. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, 
seven. Nine. Okay, skip four, one, two, three, four. Go in the next one with a single crochet. Skip four, one, two, three, four. Go in the next one with nine triple crochets. I'm just going to go through this entire row with you. Okay, so that's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, so that's nine triple crochets. Okay, skip four, one, two, three, four, go in the next one with a single crochet. Skip four, one, two, three, four, go in the next one with nine triple crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine. Okay. So we have three of the fans. There's our corner. Three of the fans here. We need four. Okay, so now skip four, one, two, three, four, go in the next one with a single crochet. And then skip four, one, two, three, four, go in the next one with nine triple crochets. So one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, <clears throat> and then we're going to skip four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Go on the fifth one. Go on a single crochet. Okay, then you will have three stitches left. One, two, three. We're going to skip those. We're going to chain three and skip those three. And then we're going to slip stitch into the top of that double crochet we made for that V stitch. We're going to slip stitch into the chain two. Then we're going to chain one. 
Okay, now for this corner, we're going to make a V stitch, a chain two, and another V stitch. Okay, so the V stitch was a double crochet, chain two, and a double crochet. Okay, we made that right into the center of that V stitch from the previous row, and now we're going to chain two, and now we're going to make another V stitch. So that's a double crochet, chain two, and a double crochet. Okay, so we have two V stitches that are separated by a chain two. You can mark that with a stitch marker if you want. I, I don't have one right here. Okay. <laughs> so now we're going on the other side of that corner. So we're going to chain three. And then we have this single crochet right here. We're going to put two triple crochets into that single crochet from the previous row. So that's one, and two. Okay, now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. We're going to skip the first four of our nine triple crochets. So skip the first four. One, two, three, four. Go in the fifth one with a single crochet. Okay, so right now we're working on the first row of the two row repeat. Okay, and then chain three. Go into that single crochet down here from the previous row and put two triple crochets in there. Okay, chain three. Skip the first four triple crochets. One, two, three, four. Go in the top of the fifth one with a single crochet. Chain three. Go down to that single crochet down here and put two triple crochets in there. Chain three, skip the first four of those triple crochets in your fan. One, two, three, four. Put a single crochet in the fifths. Chain three, another single crochet down at the bottom here. Put two triple crochets in that single crochet. Chain three. Now we have this fan. Skip first four triple crochets. Go in the fifth with a single crochet. Chain three. And then we have this last single crochet down here before our corner, our V stitch. So we're going to put two triple crochets into that single crochet. Okay, before the V-stitch, we always chain three. One, two, three. In the V-stitch, we're going to put two V-stitches separated by chain two. So go right into that center of that V-stitch with a V-stitch, which again, in this design, is a double crochet, chain two, and a double crochet. Okay, then we're going to chain two. Put another v-stitch which is a double crochet chain two double crochet
Okay, after our corners, we chain three before and after. So first stitch here, we're going to do what we did on the other side. This first stitch here is a single crochet. We're going to put two um, triple crochets into that single crochet. All right, then we're going to chain three. Skip the first four triple crochets in your fan, put a single crochet in the top of the fifth one. Chain three. You go down to your single crochet there. Put two triple crochets into it. Chain three. Then you have your fan, skip the first four, one, two, three, four. You're just repeating everything we just did. And put your single crochet in the top of that fifth triple crochet. Okay, single crochet. Chain three. Go to your next single crochet down here and put two triple crochets in the top of that single crochet. Chain three. Skip the first four of your triple crochets in that fan. Put a single crochet on the top of the fifth. Chain three. We're down to that single crochet down there. Put two triple crochets in the single crochet. Chain three, skip the first four triple crochets in your fan, go into the fifth one with a single crochet. Chain three, you have a single crochet down here, put two triple crochets into that single crochet. Okay, let's take a look before we go on to the next row. Okay. So that was the first row of the two row repeat. Okay, so it, technically it's row three. The single crochet row was row one, the fans was row two. So row three is the first of the two row repeat the one we just completed, and then the next one we're gonna do some more fans. So that will be the, the fourth row, which will be the two, second row of the two row repeat. Okay, let's go on to the next row. First of all, we're coming up to a corner, so we're going to chain three. And then we're gonna slip stitch into the top of that that uh, double crochet in that first uh, V stitch. As close to the top as you can find. Sometimes it's a little difficult. We'll do it right here. And then we're going to slip stitch into the very top, that chain two in the middle of that V stitch, that first Let's see, first V-stitch. I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but I heard that it, um, if you slip stitch right into that chain rather than in the center, you won't have a line in your work. Okay, chain one. We'll make a V-stitch into that first V-stitch.
Okay, and then in that chain two space in the middle of these two V-stitches, we're going to put a V-stitch Okay, and chain two, and then another V stitch. Okay, so we have a V stitch in the first V stitch. We have a V stitch, chain two, and a V stitch in that chain two space. And then this is another V-stitch here, so we're going to put a V-stitch in that one. Okay. And the reason I'm slip stitching into this uh, corner now is to keep track of my rows. So I know this is starting a new row. Okay, so now we're going to chain three because we're coming off a corner. And now we have these two triple crochets right here. We're going to put a single crochet right in between them, right in that big space between them, a single crochet. Okay, then we're going to go directly into the single crochet that's at the top of your fan and we're going to make a fan so nine triple crochets so what we're working on right now is the second row of the two row repeat That was only eight. We need nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more. We need nine. Okay, then we're going to go right into this the middle of the, those two triple crochets with a single crochet and then we're going to go up into this single crochet on top of our fan and make a fan nine triple crochets this is what we're repeating for this row So that was three, yes, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we're up to our two triple crochets, put a single crochet in the middle. And then we're up to right here, our single crochet at the top of that fan. So we're going to make a fan, nine uh, triple crochets. So that's one. Two, 
two. nine okay so that's how it's looking very pre stitch okay so then we're going to go into between our triple crochets we're just going to repeat what we did here with a single crochet and then make your nine uh, triple crochets into your single crochet up here go between these two triple crochets here with a single uh, yes a single crochet and then chain three because we're coming up on this corner so in this corner you would put like um, like we did in the other one a v-stitch in the center here in this two chain two space you put a v-stitch chain two v-stitch and then a v-stitch there chain three put your single crochet between these triple crochets, your fan in the uh, single crochet, and then so on, and I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, isn't that looking pretty? <laughs> I've come to the end of the fourth row, which is the second row of the two row repeat. I've made my fan, and now I'm going to go into the middle of those two triple crochets and make a single crochet. Then I'm coming to my corner, so need to chain three. Chain three before and after our corners. Okay, so that, since this is the beginning of the next row, I'll be slip stitching into that first double crochet of that V stitch, and then slip stitching into the chain two that's in the middle of that V stitch just right into the chain two and then we're going to chain one and then we're going to make a v-stitch in the first v-stitch I'm just going to get you started on the next row okay v-stitch again was double crochet chain two double crochet okay then we have a v-stitch here so we'll put a v-stitch in there And then we have that chain two space in between these V stitches, that one and that one. So we're going to put two V stitches in there separated by a chain two. Mm -hmm. So that's a V stitch and then we'll chain two and then we'll put another V stitch in there. Okay, then we have two more V-stitches here, so we'll put a V-stitch in each one of those. Okay, we've just come off a corner, so we're going to chain three. Okay. Now we have this single crochet. We're going to repeat um, row one, I'm sorry, row three, which was the first of the two row repeat. We're going to repeat it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put two triple crochets into that um, single crochet. So two triple crochets.
Then we're going to chain three. We're going to skip the first four double crochets of that fan, go into the top of the fifth one with a single crochet. And then chain three. Go down to our single crochet down here and put two triple crochets. Okay, then chain three, skip the first four of those triple crochets in that fan and put a single crochet in the fifth one. And then chain three to get back down on the other side of that fan to our single crochet where we're going to put two triple crochets into. Okay, continue repeating that and then you'll repeat uh, row four after you've repeated this one. Okay, so again, this is row one and two and then three, and three is the first of your two row repeat. And then the, the um, fans were your fourth row, which is your second of your two row repeat. <laughs> All right, so continue on until you make your um, capelet as long as you want. Mine is going to be, because it's a capelet, I'm only going to make it just below the girls. Um, you can make yours longer if you like. All right, I'll be back. All right, I've made my capelet so that it goes just a little bit past the girls. And uh, this is the last row I've finished where we do the two triple crochets, the chain three, the single crochet, the chain three, two tip, triple crochets. Okay, so now we're going to start on the next row. Now this row, I've started right here. This is my corner, as it's called, with the <clears throat> V-stitches. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we're going to do something a little different, but first of all, let's just make all our V-stitches. Okay, all the way along till we get to here. When you make your last V stitch, make sure you chain that three. And then uh, I'll show you what to do here next. Now I've completed all of the V stitches for the corner. And now I'm going to chain three, like we always did. Oh. Okay. <laughs> chain three, one two, three. Now we have these two triple crochets here. We're going to do like we did before. Put a single crochet right in between them in that big space. Okay, now normally we would go over to this single crochet right here and put our nine triple crochets in there. Well, we are going to go over to here, the single crochet, but we're going to make nine double crochets rather than triple. And we are going to work in the front loop only of our single crochet. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the back loop because we'll need that for the next round. Okay, the back loop only of that single crochet. I'm gonna, gonna mark it just so we can see it easy when we come back around. All right, so we're gonna make nine double crochets in that front loop only of the single crochet. Okay. So it's one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, double crochets. 
So when we come around for the next row, and I'm going to show you that too, we know exactly where we're going to be working into. That would be the back loop of our single crochet. Okay. So now we're simply going to go over to our two triple crochets here and work a single crochet right into the middle, just like we did before. Okay, I'll show you again. We're going to work in the front loop of this single crochet, front loop only, and make nine double crochets rather than the nine triple crochets. Okay, so I'm going to mark that back loop of that single crochet so we can work into it and it'll be easy to find when we come back around. Okay, so we'll make our nine double crochets in that front loop of that single crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine double crochets. Okay, now we're going to go over to our two triple crochets we have here and just do what we did before, put a single crochet right in between them. All right, so continue on with that. Mark your back loop of that single crochet because we'll be working into it in the next round, but working in the front loop only this round, like we did here in these two. All right, continue doing that. And then when you get to your V stitches, make sure you do your chain three and then just put regular V stitches like we've been doing all along the double crochet, chain two, double crochet all the way and then I will meet you I'll meet you again here and just show you again how to do the same thing we just did <laughs> all right now we've come to the other side of the capelet all right so we've I finished the V stitches so we'll chain three like always put a single crochet between those two triple crochets. Okay, so this is where we're going to do that nine double crochets rather than the nine triple crochets. All right, we have our V, I mean our single crochet. Going to mark the back loop of that single crochet. I just wanted to show you again just to refresh your memory when you got back around this side. <laughs> okay, so So we're just going to make our nine double crochets in the front loop of that single crochet. Okay, nine double crochets, not triple crochets. In this round, that's two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, and nine double crochets. Okay, then we're going to go over to our two triple crochets and put a single crochet right between them in that big space. Then we'll go to our next single crochet on top of our fan, mark the back loop of our single crochet, and then work into the front loop of our single crochet with nine double crochets rather than triple. All right, 
So go ahead and do that, continue that along. I finished my nine double crochet fan right here. Made the single crochet between the two triple crochet V, uh, two triple crochets, and then I've chained three. Now we're at the beginning of the next row. So here we are going to make a a fan that's nine triple crochets right into that V stitch. Okay, so make nine triple crochets. We're just making a fan like we did in the beginning. Okay, that's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine. Okay, now remember these are triple crochets, not double, like we did here. These are triple, okay? So I made nine triple crochets in that first V stitch. So now I'm going to go into the next V stitch and just make a single crochet. I'm going to go into the next V stitch and make nine triple crochets. This is what we're going to do in these V stitches. That's one. Two. Three. Oops. Four. Seven, eight, and nine triple crochets. Okay, so now we're going to go into the next V stitch and make a single crochet. We're just going to repeat this. And when we get close to the corner here, the peak, I'm going to meet you there. Now I'm up to the pointy part of the corner, so I'm going to put a single crochet in that next V-stitch. And then we'll put our nine triple crochets in that chain two space between these two V-stitches, that one and that one, right in the middle. And then in the next V-stitch, put a single crochet. And the next, your nine triple, uh, nine triple crochets, and so on. And then I will meet you, I'll meet you down here before we start our next um, section. Okay, so I've made my last fan in that V-stitch. And after the V-stitch, we chain three. The next stitch we have is this single crochet in this uh, set of two triple crochets. Okay, so we're just going to put a single crochet in that single crochet. Okay, now we're up to that double crochet fan. So flip it over and where your stitch marker is, is the stitch we're going to go into. That's the back loop of the single crochet we marked. We are going to make nine triple crochets, back to triples, just like we did. We did triples all along the edge here. All right, so nine triple crochets. Oops, 
yarn over twice, nine triple crochets. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, let's just go into the next stitch before I show you what it looks like. Next one is a single crochet. We'll just go right in there with a single crochet. So that's the look we're going for. Isn't that neat? That's why we did double crochets here instead of triple, so this will be shorter. And then go back to the triple crochets and it hangs below. Cool, right? <laughs> okay, so then you just go to the next one where you have it marked and put your nine um, triple crochets in that next one. You can take that stitch marker out. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, and nine. Okay, then we're going to single crochet in the next stitch, which is a single crochet. So there we go, we have two of them. Okay, so continue on with that. So you did your single crochet, then you'll do your nine triple crochets in the back loop, and then the single crochet and the single crochet, nine triples in the back loop, and then put your single crochet in the single crochet, and then start off here with your nine triple crochets um, and then your single crochet in the next V like we did on the other side and just keep going around and then uh, do the other side like this and um, I'll meet you at the very end when we'll be done <laughs> almost done almost done when you've gotten to the end of your final row here your your border row and you put your single crochet in that single crochet. I'm going to chain three. One, two, three, just like we were doing before. I'm just going to slip stitch. I'm going to slip stitch into the third double crochet. And that'll be the end of our row, and uh, we'll be done that part. But there actually is another part. Uh, uh, I'm just going to do um, a, a single crochet around the neckline, so let's go do that. Okay, here's our neckline. I'm just going to do a single crochet in every stitch all the way around. You can start wherever you like. And it's just to tidy up this chain here. 
Okay, so I inserted my yarn. Now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to go back into the same spot with a single crochet. And then I'm going to go into every chain with a single crochet. I'm going under two loops of that chain. Okay, I'll meet you at the end of this row. Now I'm at the end of that uh, border row, the single crochet row we did around the neckline. I'm just going to slip stitch. Let's see. Slip stitch into that very first single crochet. I think it's right here. Should have marked it. <laughs> okay, so if you've started working on your, um, if you've started working on your your capelet and it's still a whip, we'd love to see it in in our Facebook group. It's linked below. And if you make this, even if you don't make this, I would love for you to share it out. If you enjoyed the video, if you liked the design, share it out to to all your social medias. That would really, really help us out. I mean, it, that's, you know, it, it would help us out a lot. And um, I think uh, Pinterest is a great one to share our videos to, our tutorials. So if I have some that you like that you haven't gotten to making yet or or you think maybe someone else would like it, um, please go back to those and and uh, share them to your social medias or your, you know, Pinterest, um, wherever you are on Facebook. Um, I don't know, whatever the other ones are. <laughs> TikTok and every, everything, whatever you're on. I would love that and appreciate that so, so much. Okay, so you're done. <laughs> you're done. Okay, thank you so much. And um, I'm going to leave my full playlist of tutorials, crochet tutorials at the end of this video. If you'd like to click on there, it's also in the description box. And take a look around, see if there's something else that you would like to make as well. All right, I really appreciate you all. Thank you so much, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.